The next big update for Marvel's Avengers is not going to have a new hero in this game. Well, the following info in this video is going to blow you away and can get you a lot more excited, more than you may have thought. If you can leave a like on this video, it helps a lot, I'd really appreciate it. But if you do actually get to the end of a video and you say, well, I didn't actually enjoy it, then feel free to turn your like into a dislike. But if you could drop a like right now, it helps a ton. So, since the drop of the brand new Winter Soldier DLC and the patch notes that were leaked that clearly showed that the team is working on not just a brand new villain or final boss in the game if you will but also brand new enemies it's clear that a huge shift is going to be inbound and you're about to find out what that may well be so now Captain America has his best friend in the game aka Bucky Barnes well a lot of fans are now left on the edge wondering who is the next DLC character character for this game and when is the next DLC going to be? Now, this is where things get very interesting. So first of all, the inevitable long-awaited War Machine has very much been the character that initially was teased, fan and files, etc. But he's not the only character that can actually still be on the new hero roster when it comes down to the next DLC with a hero. Now, we've seen how they actually dealt with the Winter Soldier DLC despite it taking a year long Understandably though, because of course it came with the cloning labs, the echo of his character was absolutely huge. It's literally what people have wanted with all the other characters that they have added into this game. Now, a quick breakdown of firing modes that War Machine would slash could have was actually broken down on Reddit. And let me tell you, you know how I said this game is very unlikely to have a huge influx of players? Well, when you hear the following, that statement could very much be challenged. So a Reddit user said the following, This could be the three firing modes that War Machine has. First of all, you have the wrist machine guns, which basically shoot full auto whilst you're walking. Secondly is the shoulder minigun, where you are forced to stand still during rapid fire. And then thirdly are the rockets, which basically shoot multiple rockets all at the same time. If and when I say if, at this point, I'm not even going to say it's a big if because it's very much possible. This would be huge, but another two users took to Reddit and vented the following. Firstly, this game doesn't need more heroes, it needs more missions. They then went on to actually say, this is just my opinion. But I don't think the game's issue is the lack of good heroes. Yes, the diversity in this game is just atrocious. We already have three clones and all of us would much rather three other heroes take their places. Heroes like Scarlet Witch, Doctor Strange and Captain Marvel. But playing the same missions as Scarlet Witch for example will get stale after a while and to be honest I see them making Captain Marvel and an Iron Man clone. But what we need is more end game content and missions that make the game more fun and more diverse. We already have a huge catalogue of heroes and adding to the roster simply won't fix it. The most fun thing to do in this game for me is to not play it for months and then come back and play it for a few hours. This is only because the missions feel new. Now another user took to reddit and said the following, hypothetically if any of these six heroes were announced for Marvel's Avengers in 2023, who would you be most excited to play as? Now, these two posts are going to make sense when we interlink them in a moment, but firstly, in regards to this one about the heroes, if it was me and I had to choose one, if I'm honest, I'm torn between either Wolverine or Doctor Strange. Now, somebody actually left a comment, and this is where things get interesting, that said, Wanda or Doctor Strange for sure. I would definitely re-download the game for that. Now, this is where you can say the game is very much in a strange place. So you clearly have fans that have not returned for this brand new DLC, let alone even have the game downloaded still. But they would be willing to return if a new hero that is their ideal hero gets added. This kind of contradicts the previous post where there's a mixture of players too saying that yes you're right and we need new missions not new heroes. But then on the flip side you have players that 
well, just want new heroes for the sake of new heroes almost. Now, this game is heavily dependent on how many skins they can sell, which leads to the question of, well, where would there actually be a much larger influx of players and re-downloads? Would it actually be with new endgame content or just new DLC content with new characters as well? Or does a new hero actually have to be crucial? Could they go ahead and just release one big DLC that is a very big update to the game that has a lot more endgame content, but all still with the exact same heroes that we have right now and there's no other heroes? Let's just say that happened and it took like six to eight months from where we are right now. Would that actually be feasible? Now, there's a very fine line between which is wrong and also which is right, as both sides are just I mean, they're both just as important and both sides do actually have a very good point. But the thing is, they are very clearly listening and making the changes we want now. But is it too late? So we've all wanted the hero that we have now being Bucky Barnes to literally be the same type of hero that all the other characters were, where we know they were clones to an extent of characters that already exist in the game. But of course, Bucky has his own unique skill set, and it's clear that a lot of people are really enjoying this DLC. I've said it in previous videos, is it the fact that it's the first new piece of content with a new hero that we've had in literally give or take a year, or is it the fact that no, this DLC character is actually still very much a brand new refreshing DLC character into this game because, well, you have his own unique skill sets. Now, this is where things as a whole get very, very messy because we've seen the leaked patch notes. We know thanks to the leaked patch notes by, of course, Miller that, well, there are new villains that are going to be added into this game. We already know that. That was one of the biggest things that I think dropped literally in the last 48 hours that has a lot of fans mega excited. We know on top of that we got the, we're, we're basically steering away from the aimbots, right? So it's clear we're now going into a complete different realm for this game. We're not going against Modoc again, we're not going against these aimbots. So that is where I think it's very, very clear and evident that the big change is definitely not what I think a lot of people are expecting. Now, Spider-Man 2 got some very big news yesterday, which actually shows that they are clearly about to take the spotlight, potentially putting this game in trouble. So check that video on screen right now.